Hey guys, Tyler here with Bad Boy Outdoors. Uh, if you watched our last video, we made ballistic gel. So now we're gonna test it. So we have a Daisy 1200 feet per second air rifle. And we got some different pellets. Some of the different pellets we're using today. The to start, it's just a generic. I got it at my local store. Uh, Crossman says competition pellets. I'm shooting 0.177 caliber with all of them. Um, not much on the box besides that so yeah i'll show you what they look like just a little flat nose they call it a wad cutter uh i'm not sure why but i'm sure you guys do and will rip me apart <laughs> there you go okay uh next one we have our gamo i got these with i bought the gun um i've shot some paper targets with these and they seem to fly pretty nice but they have a little orange tip on the front. Again, I, I don't have the package with these ones, so I'm not sure all the information. We can flash it up on the screen in the editing. Just got these ones. Haven't even opened them yet. They're called Gold Flight by Crossman. Supposed to be increased penetration. Um, they remind me almost of like a little 22 or something. They have like a shell on the back. And then lastly, uh, High velocity by Crossman as well. They have it look almost looks like a watch from like a shotgun behind it, or if you're familiar with muzzle loaders. Um, but these two are lead free. These two have lead. If that makes a difference for your situation, um, these are 5.4 grain. The high velocity, the increased penetration are 8.5 grain. That makes sense that they'd weigh more. So we'll see if they actually do increase the penetration. Okay, so now we're shooting the wad cutter by Crossman. A little flat nose. Okay. So now we're shooting the gamo. Little orange tip. That hit. Okay, so now we're trying the increased penetration. Gold flight. They're a lot bigger than what we've been shooting. But it's about the same weight, so we'll see. And it feels at least. Mm. So something to notify or uh, think about: these don't fit tightly into the barrel. So when I close the barrel, it actually came out a little bit and closed on. You can see the. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> They're also slippery. Yeah, you see where it crushed it. Oh yeah. So it's, I'm gonna have to. Got right. it. All right. Okay. Ready? Yep. I think that moved the block. A little yeah, bit. I actually saw something. Block. Oh, it's increased penetration. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, so these are supposed to be the high velocity ones. So we'll throw it in there and see what it does. Okay. Again, pretty loose in the barrel. That was a lot louder. Yeah. So that means it was going faster. Ooh, but it didn't. It stopped right there. Oh no, the, the pelt up here, the little backing. So the backing of the gold one stayed on. The backing of that one, and then it only went there. Okay. But you can see it's a bigger hole because that thing turned sideways. Yeah. So I don't know if that would have killed the squirrel easier. I don't know if that, because that's plastic, I don't know if that would actually go into like a bone or something. Yeah, it would probably stop. Yeah, that's interesting. So we got the block now. Um, you can see there's four inch holes. Um, this one seems to be a little bit bigger. That's the high velocity ones. Um, and then if we turn it to the side, or maybe the other side might be better. You can see, hopefully, all the pellets. Yeah, you can. I don't know if that'll help. Do it from the side there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see that this top one here, that's the high velocity. Uh, the little red piece at the bottom of it fell off and then the pellet ends up 
down here. Um, this top one here is the Gamo hunting ones. You can see the little orange tip fell off and then it actually looks like it uh, opened up like a hollow point. Kind of tumbled, yeah. Yeah. Well, you have the front of it crushed. Um, and then the high penetration one started down here, the low shot, and it ended up down here. So it definitely had the highest penetration. Oh, yeah. It really did. And it stayed together as well. But it looks like the cavity is just a straight line. Where's the... Uh... The last uh, wad cutter is on the back side here. Let me... Oh, there we go. We can see it from the top, maybe. Right there. It's all the way to the right. Yeah. You can see the has a straight shot straight through it. And then right there's at the bottom. So let's see. The high penetration went came the furthest, in first. Then that one. Then the one I didn't expect, the wad cutter. Then the um, high velocity. And then the last one was the hunting. I think they're like a hollow point pellet. Which didn't went went the least distance, but it probably since it, that was the tumbling one, right? Uh, it opened up. Yeah. Yeah, that would have done the most damage. Probably, assuming it got through a bone and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, I mean, cool. Yeah. So, personally, if I was going to hunt with something, I'd probably go with the penetration ones. True. Just because you're going to go all the way through. Um, I wouldn't hunt with the high-velocity ones. They were noticeably louder as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I wouldn't probably hunt with them. The wad cutters, which I was surprised because they're just like a cheap pellet. I think I might even got them at Walmart. Um, they were $16.99. Um, they seemed they'd probably be my next pick because they did go further as well okay so now we finished we have a crossbow bolt which I mean, we can already see the damage uh, but i'm going to try to cut out the pellets and uh see what they look like if they're deformed at all um you just gotta tell me if i'm not in frame anymore mm -hmm. okay we're right along it do you mind if i cube it up no go ahead i have to re okay Maybe we can get a better shot of the melt food. This is the high velocity pellets. But there's the pellet itself and there's the backing to it. Uh, the cavity, right here on this, it's pretty big because it tumbled, but the pellet itself, pretty small cavity. We're gonna cut into it here. See if there's any deformation. Oops, sorry. Okay, here's the pellet. So this, which one is that? This is the high velocity, no deformation in the pellet itself, but the backing did fall off. Now the backing's back here. And that's, that's for the high velocity one? Yeah, so basically this would have went in there right. and then uh, fired like that, but yeah. okay. Next closest one, we're going to do the wad cutter. Just cut down, I guess. Oh, it came out. Did it? Uh, yeah, I think it shot out. Yeah. Well, it's still going. <laughs> it's gone. That thing is fast, man. <laughs> it doesn't want to stop. Okay, well, that one's gone forever. Okay. Yeah, so get those. Because they're... And they keep going. <laughs> uh, there's the little pink tip of the camera right. ones. And it's actually the... The pellet looks like right here. Right there, yeah. And which one is These that? These are the ones, uh, the ones with the orange tip on them, the gamo. Okay. That's... If you see the front of it... That one there. Uh, I know that one. Yeah, it actually opened up like a hollow point, so... Technically, that would have been your most damaged internal. Yeah, But that's it did the... not go the farthest. That's the one that uh, kind of tumbled, right? Yeah, I don't think it really tumbled. Just opened up like a hollow point. Yeah. But I mean, it... Yeah, it made a bigger cavity. Yeah, right here's the tip on it. Right. Oh, there you go. Where is it? Um... So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then there's one more, right? Yeah, the high vol uh, penetration one, which is is it at the bottom. Look. Oh yeah, by my finger. Okay. Yeah, oh, right, it's right there. there. You almost don't have to cut it out. Hmm. Not much of a hole though. It left. No, it didn't. I mean, it penetrates, but it doesn't do. I mean, I guess for a small game. Yeah. It would do the job probably, but there you go. No deformation. If you're doing anything like a anything remotely big. Yeah. So I'm guessing big, biggest cavity. Maybe looking at that one right there compared to. Yeah. It opened up. That's the gamma. Yeah. Um, the crossbow bolt. As you can see. I don't think you have to open that up. Yeah, it went right through there. I mean, it can't really tell much, but it's about the size of my finger. 
That'll kill so shot. Yeah, that's that's a kill that's shot. Deadly on anything. And from let's show me that from the side. The other side probably. Yeah, yeah that's the exit hole. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we haven't cut that yet, so. Uh. That's uh, and that was you figured the blades don't open up on the practice one, so. Oh yeah, that would have been. Would have been nasty. Double, so, double, like both ways. Yeah. And you could see the. The destruction. Mm. Actually, no, that would have been the entrance. Because we shot it from the opposite side. Oh, yeah, yeah. This would have been the exit. Oh. Yeah, but if they opened up. Yeah. You know what? Actually, that would be a cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Well, like and subscribe for a part two of this if you want it. Leave a comment below. Yeah. Yeah, if you like this video, we can uh, show other stuff. Yeah, too. shoot some actual broadheads through it and yeah. see what it does better.